Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steve. If this is the first time you discover my YouTube channel, welcome. My YouTube channel is focused on lifestyle and skincare. I have over 30 years experience in cosmetic and that's what made me an expert in skincare education and skincare recommendations. If you want to learn more about skincare tip and trick or how to look younger, definitely subscribe my YouTube channel over here. Turn on the notification bell so you know the date and time I release my video. Today's videos, we're going to talk about summer must-have skincare, and that is sunblock. My new favorite sunblock ever. It is by far the best sunblock. Seriously, using this sunblock for about three, four weeks now, and I love it. And this sunblock is by Color Science True Protection No Show Mineral Sunblock SPF 50. <gasps> Thank you so much Color Science sent me this sunblock for me to try. And as you know, even though the company sent me the product to try, but the review, the feedback is mine, so you can definitely trust me. Before I talk about why I love about this, I want to give you some basic information about sunblock. What is it? When to use? How to use? There are so many different types of sunblock in the market right now, and you probably see this word SPF. What does SPF mean? SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor. And this means it relates the measurement of the sunscreen that against the UV rate. Couple things that there's two things I want to share with you. UVA and UVB. UVB is burning. Both of these are caused from the sun damage. SPF is only focused on UVB. It's a burning, not UVA, aging. So if you're like me in your 50 or 40 or 30, you worry about aging. So you really want to find the one that also against UVA, that's aging. Now you know what's SPF and UVB and UVA. Let's talk about photo aging. What's a photo aging? Photo aging really means premature aging caused from UV rate. And that's the reason why you need to wear sunblock. And there are actually three stages on UVA. Number one, it's the overall discoloration. Number two, it's the spots. Number three, that can lead to skin cancer. And that's the reason why you really want to wear sunscreen. Protect your skin from sun damage and skin cancer. There are actually two types of ingredients they were using in the sunscreen. So first one is called the chemical ingredient. The second is mineral ingredients. So what's the difference? Chemical ingredient basically is when you apply the sunscreen with a chemical ingredient, it will basically absorb the UV ray and protect your skin. Mineral ingredients, it actually will reflect in the light. It really is your personal preference, which one do you prefer? Another really big difference between the chemical ingredient versus the mineral ingredient that is, mineral ingredient, you actually have the white cast when you put a product on the skin so they can reflect in the light. Chemical ingredient does not have the white cast at all. Everything changed since I used this sunscreen. I'm going to show you on my face right now. This is really, really cool. So you probably guessed this right already. This is using mineral ingredients. Okay, so now I want to show you on my face right now. This is so good. When I use this, first of all, it's oil free super super lightweight and watch this i'm gonna put this on my face right now you can see it it doesn't really give me a white cast see the difference and there's no smell i hate when you wear sunblock you can smell the sunblock on the skin i absolutely don't like that and this particular sunscreen is also good for the kids too because it does not cause irritation doesn't have a strong scent so it's so good for that See, you don't really see a white cast, right? I always recommend you wear sunscreen before you wear your makeup. And because sunscreen is sitting on top of a skincare, you really want to let the product absorb the skin before you apply your makeup. What's good about this sunscreen is it's super lightweight, easy to absorb. It's perfect for somebody who has oily skin, normal to oily skin. 
Okay, now I gotta tell you the truth, okay? You know, if you know me, you know. I'm 50 years old, and one of my big skin concern besides breakout is dryness. I always feel very dry on my skin. I guess it's due to the aging and the, you know my lifestyle. I do found that because I have very dry skin, if I don't use enough hydration, this actually made me feel a little drier. I want to remind you, if you have a dry skin like me, you want to make sure you use your moisturizer cream before you apply this treatment. If you use something lightweight, then you're not gonna feel enough hydration because this sunscreen is not designed for very, very dry skin. However, it is summertime right now and it's gonna be so hot just everywhere. So you should be okay as long as you put on your moisturizer before you apply this sunscreen. Did I mention this is also hypoallergenic, oil-free and not greasy? And that's why I really love this. And this is not only for your face, you can put on your entire body. Although this is very small for the entire body though. But I do know on the website they have a bigger size too. And you should definitely check out their website. They carry all sorts of sunscreen product. Pretty amazing. For a long time, I always talk about American beauty company don't make good sunscreen. And normally I only buy sunscreen from the Japanese skincare brand or the Korean brand. But this changed my mind. Really, really good. So if you're gonna try this, definitely let me know what you think about this. But I really like this though. Because like I said before, you have to wear sunscreen. But you don't want the sunscreen to be cause oiliness or cause irritation around your eyes. How many times you wear sunscreen and make your eye tearing and just so uncomfortable, right? And I think that's a really case by case. I use this around my eyes, I'm okay. But you still want to use your eye treatment first and put a sunscreen just around it, not too close, so it doesn't cause irritations. Um, I tried other brand before, it actually made my eyes very watery. This one, I have no problem. But like I said, it's case by case, everyone's different. I know, um, I recently just did a live on uh, Amazon Live and one of my fan was telling me that she cannot use uh, mineral sunscreen because that causes irritation for eyes. But I was like, but I'm okay. So that's why really case by case, everyone's a little bit different. There's one very important thing that I want to share with you. What is the right way to apply your sunscreen? Okay, there's two lifestyle I'm looking at right now. If you are just going to war in and out, in the car, in the office, you don't really expose under the sun directly for a long period of a time, one application should be fine. However, if you're gonna be exposed under the sun for more than an hour, two, three, or four hour, then you want to reapply your sunscreen every two hour. You must wonder, but if I have a makeup on, can I reapply this over my makeup? Well, the thing is, it will ruin your makeup. So you really want to make sure that you put this on a clean face, not over your foundations. All right, I want to say thank you so much for watching my video today and learn more about sunscreen, why it's so important to use sunscreen on a daily basis. And make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you know the day and time I release my video. All right, I'll see you next video. Bye.